Welcome to a demonstration of document management in Alfresco One by Team Informatics. I like to refer to Alfresco's method of content management as Social CM because the product as a whole encourages teams and team members to not only store their content in the system, but to interact with the content and one another as a matter of course. This is a departure from the approaches taken by other products and can make a world of difference in how your employees take to using the system and come to embrace it. However, the primary aspect of Social CM is obviously the content. Let's take a spin around the product and look at how Alfresco One handles not only the input and output of content, but various internal interactions with it as well. Within Alfresco, content is stored in the repository, always accessible from your primary menu. Content stored within the document library of the site is simply segmented in that way within the repository. However, site-specific content comes with site-specific security, so it's easier and simpler to just access the content that way. When you're in the document library, adding folders to the structure is simple. Within the folders, adding content can be done by using the Upload button and selecting one or more files, or by simply dragging and dropping the files you want added. Creating content from scratch is as simple as selecting the Type option from the Create menu. From here, you have access to Alfresco's integration with Google Docs. Create word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations directly from within Alfresco One. Even better, once created, the document can be downloaded directly from Alfresco and is typed as a Microsoft Office document for easy distribution. If you have document templates that you are commonly using throughout the organization, Alfresco allows the administrator to designate both content and whole folder structures as templates. This means users can quickly duplicate and then edit them, making it their own. The same goes for folders. For our use, we create an entire folder structure for each project. This allows for rapid deployment and accurate retention of project materials. Adding, creating, and editing content is great, but enabling others to find all the amazing content you've created is just as important Within Alfresco, you're provided out of the box with the concepts of categorization and tagging. Both of these are considered aspects of the content and must be enabled before being used. Once enabled, the entire library of categories created by the administrator are available to describe your content. Likewise, adding keyword tags allows you to further add depth to the metadata. To speed this process up, Alfresco allows you to establish rules on your content folders. These rules are applied to every item placed within. Let's set up a rule for client content. Now, we set the rule to automatically apply the aspects of taggable and classifiable. And we set the rule to apply to all subfolders. Click Create, and we're done. Now when we add new content, it's automatically eligible for classification and tagging. Even better, on subfolders we can establish rules to automatically apply specific categories and tags to items entered into specific folders. This takes metadata and simplifies the whole process for your users. Lastly, remember that categories and tags aren't your only options for metadata. Alfresco features a fully customizable data dictionary model, which allows you to add, edit, and remove custom metadata as your business dictates. We'll dive into custom metadata in Alfresco One in a future conversation. 
Once your content has been added to the document library or repository, the file is indexed by the search engine. When this is complete, the file is now searchable within Alfresco. The platform utilizes Apache Solar indexing subsystem, which is a high-performance and full-featured product. Out of the box, your content is already being full-text indexed, making Alfresco very user-friendly from the get-go. As an example, let's add a piece of content into the document library with a unique word in the midst of other text. There. We save the document, and within moments, the indexing has occurred. Now, just perform a simple query for the unique word within the item, and Alfresco returns the content record. As we saw earlier, using the categories, we can add a great deal of informational depth to a piece of content. Seeking out that content based on those categories is as simple as point and click through the various hierarchies. Here we see the item tagged as English, North America, and meeting minutes. Alfresco also includes several workflow processes right out of the box. Any piece of content can be included in a review and approve task, so specific managers or colleagues can be polled. To begin creating a workflow task, we just use the action menu and select start workflow. From here, we can choose from a list of predefined task and workflow options. Let's pick Review and Approve, choose a date, a priority, and select a user to assign this task to. Then we kick off the workflow. The next time this user logs in, their home dashboard will show a new task assigned to them. When they complete the task and issue an approval or rejection, the task reverts to the user who created it for final completion of the effort. Using actions like folder rules and these simple workflows allows you to create a structure of responsibility for content items. Similarly, users can easily collaborate between each other with such methods, making the content in Alfresco 1 that much more complete. There's certainly more depth than we've covered here when it comes to document management within Alfresco 1. We hope, however, that this provides you enough context to begin asking questions and help to make a more informed decision about your content management needs. If you have any questions or would like a personalized demonstration or more information, please contact us. We're happy to help. Thank you.